fire. Something that we take for granted on a daily basis, rapid oxidation, material being consumed through this amazing process, and we man have harnessed it into the ability to cook food, create metals, smelt down the raw elements of our Earth's crust into things like a blade. Without fire, we wouldn't have that. Without fire, we would die come winter time. Fire literally is what separates us from the rest of the animal kingdom and our ability to harness it. In fact, we've got so good at it, we've got tools that can be thousands of degrees in our, our hand. One of my favorite fire starting tools, a map gas torch. I wanna to share with you a cool product made in the USA from a company called ExoTech. This is their answer to the Zippo. They have nothing to do with Zippo. But the Zippo lighters you've seen for years, you can put all kinds of stuff in them, but they burn. And the trouble with them is that stuff evaporates, it dries out, and you go to need the thing and it's empty. So what this company did was they created a very high quality Zippo type lighter. I'm using that word, they're not. And it is sealed. The owner tells me that he has one that he filled several years ago and he really only uses it at trade shows to show people and it's sealed up and it lasts a long time. They did not pay me to make this video. The owner who I met at SHOT Show this past uh, January, we hit it off and he decided to send me a few things to check out and I so dug the stuff that I wanted to share it with you in a video. So let's open this thing up. I love fire making materials. This is called the Titan Light. It's a precision machined, ultra durable waterproof lighter that uses lighter fluid as fuel, a Zippo or equivalent. The two O-ring seals prevent your fuel from evaporating or leaking when it's not in use, lighter fluid not included. So it's got a high spark flint wheel waterproof to one meter underwater, one revolution of the quick thread cap, convection assist combustion, ooh, fancy. Machined aluminum construction, easily replaceable flint. So how to fill it? For the first time, unscrew the small bottom cap and add two milliliters of fuel. So we've got in there the, the material that's gonna hold it, two milliliters of fuel. When filling, oh, let's not spill that either, be careful not to overfill. The lighter is full when the cotton is slightly damp. That looks slightly damp. I don't want to overfill it. Allow lighter to sit upright for 10 minutes to saturate wick. Okay, we'll give it a little bit more juice. There we go. Put this cap back on and we'll let it sit for a minute. It says 10 minutes. All right, while that is finishing up, cleaned up my little bit of spill there, I'm gonna show you a couple other products that I will do some videos on. This is one of their ferro rods and they make all kinds of stuff. The uh, company based in Georgia is owned by a cool dude that likes to make really fancy stuff. This is by fancy, I mean like cool stuff that's well built. This is a really nice ferro rod. And if you don't know what a ferro rod is, a ferro rod is fire making 101. We'll have to do a little video on that. And then this is a cool, field repair kit, it's called the rip spool. The rip spool, this is something you'd put in like your go bag, emergency bag. It's got 50 inches of heavy duty repair tape, 60 foot of 30 pound test braided line. It's got the lanyard here, which it says is a fire cord. What does that mean? And then inside is a sail needle. That's pretty cool for repairs and such, pretty fancy. So they make a bunch of different cool survival outdoor products like this. We'll check these out later. So this thing's been sitting for a while. Let's just see how she works. Oh, friggin' perfect. And what I like about this thing, and it's got a spot on here for a lanyard, but oh, that thing, that's really nice it's very satisfying really nice threads and when you turn it you feel the the washer on there kind of suck tight very well built it's got a spot for you to put a lanyard you could tie it on a vest or, or tie it into a bag so you don't lose it but that thing is nice that is a nice lighter now you don't use these things for 
lighting cigars and stuff like that because people don't want the fuel infecting what they are smoking on. But for survival, for winning in nature when you need to get a fire, these things are great because you can use all kinds of fuels. Now, this is Mickey talking, not this company, but this product is really naphtha, which if you go to a hardware store, or a paint store, you can buy that stuff in gallon, five gallon jugs. There's a lot of different stuff that you can put in a lighter like this. Again, this is me talking. I know guys that have put 151 rum in here. I know guys that have put Everclear in here, gasoline, all different types of flammable products like that. What you're looking for is something that's got a low flash point, but is also fairly stable. Something that is too flammable is gonna create a, a real problem. So you don't wanna do that, but I'm gonna let you do the research on different fluids that can be used in here. Well, well built product and made in the USA always kicks ass. Fire, the thing that separates us from the animals. Cool company, Exotac, check them out. Hi, this is Chef Ken at Z Catering, and I'm here with my great friend Jeff Smith of Colorado Craft Beef. We are both here at the Carry Trainer S12 event in November 2021, and we are showcasing TA Target's grill that they sent out. Incredible grill, incredible beef for an incredible event. Uh, Jeff, you want to talk a little bit about the beef? Yeah, so today we are actually going to be using a flat iron steak for a steak salad that Chef Kent personally designed. Uh, we're going to be putting these steaks on the TA Target's grills. They're running about 600 degrees right now. The flat iron steak is the second most tender steak on the animal. Uh, there's enough steak here that that's all the flat iron from about six steers. So when we start to think about the level of care that goes into the event from the food, the great vendors like TA Target's, the care we get from Carrie Trainer, it's uh, second to none. We're gonna showcase two of their grill tops. Uh, one, a flat grill, and then a the second one will be a great. Both fantastic. Last night we were getting temperatures of 900, right? I believe we did get to 900. Uh, <laughs> the steaks cooked pretty well. 